the not too distant future Next Sunday, AD There was a guy named Joel Not too different from you or me He worked at Gizmonic Institute Just another face in a red jumpsuit He did a good job cleaning up the place But his bosses didn't like him So they shot him in the space Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson. This is my improv group. Anyone for more fruitcake? We're from Chicago. And we do improv, which is known as instant theater. We make, we make up our own play right before your living, breathing eyes. Okay, now I need a volunteer suggestion from the audience. Uh, uh, you're you're alone, aren't you? What uh, some kind of love connection screw up over there? <laughs> anyway, I'm just kidding. Um, now, could you just give a suggestion for a place where Tom and Crow could meet? Uh, yeah. Cream of wheat. Cream of wheat. Okay, uh, that uh, I can see that. Okay. Forget that now, so many times. I need a suggestion for something that uh, Tom and Crow could do so, together good. that would be appropriate to do in front of the Pope or your mother. Okay, so please keep. Yeah. Peter Gabriel. Peter Gabriel. Okay, you're at yeah. Cream of Wheat and you're about to what? do Peter Gabriel. Okay, now one last thing. I need a uh, name of a celebrity, okay? Yeah. Anger. Anger, okay? You're uh, at Cream of Wheat with Peter Gabriel and Anger walks in. Okay, go. Uh, hi, Peter Gabriel. Hello, want some Cream of Wheat? No, I don't want Cream of Wheat. Freeze! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Five seconds. I think, I think that, that was the worst improv I've ever seen. You should have gone to your wear. Oh, you negated me. No, I didn't. Don't. What I was trying to do was become a potato on stage, and you didn't let me be that potato. Now, you see, I didn't get that. I thought you were a hedgehog. No, you didn't yes and each other, and exactly. you forgot to go back what? to your where oh, when you were doing that hedgehog yeah, thing. Exactly. I wasn't a hedgehog. I was clearly a potato. <laughs> I was asking to be fried in hot oil. What kind of a hedgehog would be fried in hot oil? Just oh. cool if the uh, bad boys in the basement are calling. Now we're going to do a structure called Man in the Street. Certainly is warm today, Frank. It's cold. You know what they say about Chicago. Say, is that Millie Vanilli? Frank! I am not Spock. Frank, go get strapped into this week's invention exchange. Okay, Dudley. Well, Joel, I'm going to come right out and say it. I really like buffet dining, although it can be a dream come true. Sometimes it's quite tiring. That's why we've invented the new conveyor belt buffet. Swiss steak, Frank? Oui, oui, monsieur. How about some southern baked ham? I've always depended on the kindness of caterers. Juice? Mmm. -hmm. What about mashed potatoes? Mashed enchantment. And for those of you who like just truly fast food, some. you've never seen food some this of, fast no, I'll just, before. I'll just have some, uh, and then I'll take a little, and then I'll, with the, and, ah! Well, Joel, not only have we invented the world's fastest buffet, we've invented a Lucy sketch. Back to you, Desi Lou. Yes, your grouchiness is, sir. This week we've got a green experiment that's based on those New Age pioneer friends over in Biosphere 2. And it uses a power source that's available in just about any home in the USA, and that is the gerbil. Or a smallish hamster, either one. Right, exactly. And uh, what this is is a totally self-contained, self-perpetuating biosphere environment for the gerbil of the not-so-distant future. I like to call the gerbil sphere, too. 
Okay, you want to take it part way there, Tom? Sure thing, Joel. Now, the central element in our holistic environment is the common running wheel. As our furry pioneering friend turns the wheel, the log here is propelled through the wood lathe, resulting in, of course, the wood chips down below that you see, right. which encourages the gerbil or hamster to... Uh, Poop. Right, and <laughs> that fertilizes the... The uh, field of alfalfa, right. which we see here, the sprouts growing at just the proper rate to keep the dribble nourished, but not obese. Dr. Crow? Uh, yes. Uh, now, every three years, we will rotate in some soybeans. Uh, we didn't do that originally and accidentally destroyed all the topsoil. Oops. <laughs> and, uh, of course, another minor problem with our perfect system is that the CO2 released by the alfalfa can at times combine with certain undesignated elements causing an <laughs> uncontrolled thunderstorm in the upper reaches of the perfect but, system. But we have installed the air cleaner up here uh, that we believe will rectify the CO2 condition, uh, which we must remind you is only sporadic and which we do not believe interferes in any significant way with the wholeness or perfection of our system no, here. No. You know what? There's so much uh, torque involved with this... Uh, this little running wheel, I, uh -oh. I I have a feeling we're going to need a gerbil that's at least 20 pounds, so to fit in there. 23. Yeah, our people are working on it. Uh, yeah. We have a, I think it may be a motor. <laughs> Seems like kind of a gem. Well, we're going to do a structure called Yes And. Oh, Frank, I'm going to jab this ice pick into your eye. Yes, and that will cause pain and I make a comment on contemporary mores. <laughs> good, good, be in the moment. <laughs> okay. Well, Jolie, uh, your experiment this week is kind of like a spastic road picture. It stars Lee Van Cleef and Timothy Van Patten, and it's called Master Ninja 2. Yes, and it's really bad. <laughs> Hit the button, Frank. Well, you improv that whole thing, didn't you? That was really instant theater. I love it. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh, he oh, oh, he's dead. Down, the Black Moses of Soul. Feel like a hand on the run. <laughs> oh, it's Lady's Laundry Night. <laughs> Master Ninja. <laughs> Keep up. Keep up. Keep up. <laughs> oh, it's a Lee Van Cliffhanger. Lee Van Cliff. Lee Van Cliff. Walk like an Egyptian conka chong. Ah, Timothy Van Patten, the great Dutch ninja. <laughs> Is this a karate movie? Oh, I think it's Thanks. a blue man group. Oh no, look, it's Catfish Hunter warming up. That's what it looks like. There's no Kasugi like show, Kasugi like no Kasugi I know. Yeah. Wait a second. Hi. I'm Max Keller. I have fallen arches. I used to spend my mornings tightrope walking. Now I'm a marathon runner. Huh. Go figure. Dodge trucks rammed off. You know, I sometimes wonder if being a ninja is going to be with Crystal Bernard my Persuasion. Cool. What a dope. Keep running! Oh, Joe Boston. He only puts out one movie every ten years. <laughs> it's really bad. Thank you, Michael Sloan. I can't believe you. I can't understand you. I started ten minutes before you. And you're not even winded. I'm winded. From driving. You hide it well. I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Lower the heart rate. Drop the respiration. Slow everything down. Make big the money at home. Steps. Thought I was in shape till I met you. It'll come. A heart attack? Any second. When you have to run the four men a mile, you'll do it. You'll be a Henson rat less. like me. I don't think running's my long suit. I'll stick to wheels. At least you don't ride bikes. Doodly, doodly, doodly. I can't believe I'm riding a bike! Oh. It's been a long time. Since I rock and roll? Get ready to watch the ace, old fella. Huh? <laughs> I love buddy films. This is just like the last boy scout. Really? <laughs> that sounds like Chicago Transit Authority. Do not take the green acid. Hey, look, it's Francis Ford Coppola. Sunny afternoon here in Clearwater. Have a great day for racing. So I come around the last turn like I'm flying. Bam, right across the finish line. Not Wait a minute. Bike in sight. Where did he get that? Thing? Look, I admire your confidence, but if for some reason or another you should lose, easy money. Hang on to Henry for me, will you? 
He loves the straightaways, but he hates the turns. Anybody catch what he said? Nope, not a word. We've got entrants from all over the country. All over the Max world. Keller will be here, winner of last year's race. Mm -hmm. Our own Chad Webster, Bill Howard, and Terry Brown representing the Canada. Uh oh, uh -oh. The here come the no good nicks. Yep. Why me? Why me all the time? Hey, look, it's Malcolm X. <laughs> oh, I don't think <laughs> so. No. Got a problem, pal? Yeah, man, I don't like your face. Yeah, well, you're a jerk. Good one. You want to keep all those teeth? Check out, Jack. Max. Stay out of this. I can handle it. It's me, Of course, rearranging that mug of yours might be a challenge. Oh, oh. <laughs> Damn, I just injected him with blowfish poison. <laughs> Still seeing that, Dermot? How you doing? Look, you retired. I couldn't do that, brother. Besides, busting up towns ain't cool anymore. Hmm? They must have gone to speech class know together. I find you here. You any better with that bike of yours now? I always beat you, didn't I? Okay, good. Hey, Hawks, this is the ma uh, McAllister. Uh, this is my McAllister. elderly gentleman Hawks, friend. Best biker around. Nice. Kind of so why do you call me, you a hog? Better just watch. That's good advice. Everybody <laughs> at Ivory. Huh. Okay. Hey, I got walnuts in there. Hey, he's starting up the guy's hand. Oh, that thing has worked sure in years. Thank you. Here some good luck. Yeah, thanks. See you later, Hog. Uh, nice meeting you, Mr. Pig, was it? Uh, oh, Hog. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Nice company you keep. Ah, he's a pussycat. What'd you do to him anyway? Oh, just being friendly. Hope you can still hold the handlebar. Oh, see you for the champagne at the finish line. Uh, pick up some cedar chips for Muffy. Hey, hey, easy on the gerbil, Lee. Hey, whoa. Things are not what they seem, Lee. Big crowd today. We appreciate that, folks. Always great to see you. Uh, Bring believe me, it's really a big crowd. It's gonna be a lot of fun out here today. You're gonna see some great bike racing. Hi. Looks like the camera lost interest hey, in Jerry. Timothy. Oh, I can see that. What do you want? Isn't that the uh, kid who won last year? I don't remember. I, I don't like him. him. Well, tell him. I'm not interested. You are so tough. It's familiar. You know, one of these days, that mouth of yours is going to get you in a lot of trouble. And I... And you what? Take a walk, Webster. Listen, it's lady. No, you... Tongue. This racetrack is one place in this town you don't know. <gasps> yeah, you can push me around the cannery. That's... But out here... You gotta beat me fair and square. Ooh, she's a little spitfire. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're too gutless to try without your daddy's money to back you up. Pearl drops. Mm. <laughs> the it's a red fest. Mm. Just a few more seconds before the gun goes off. All jockeying for position. <laughs> They all look so good. Go, go Charlie, Charlie Brown, Brown go! go! Big Jim Seba? And there's Linda Ronstadt behind him on roller skates. <laughs> Oh, we can dream, can't we? <laughs> nice PA. William Cat, Freddie Mercury. Here's my favorite. Nothing like enjoying nature on a screaming crotch rocket. Mm -hmm. Looks like Tony Scott directed. Yeah. <laughs> this week on Then Came Bronson. Here they are. I hey, he's breaking into somebody's van. Here they come. Ooh, ooh. Oh, human speed bomb. Ooh. She lives! She lives! <laughs> Max, I lost the hamster. Okay? okay? Yeah, she's okay. She won the race. 
Even Ali lost a few. Yeah, but never to a girl with a shag haircut. <laughs> well, okay, once. Hey! Nice race. Never lost it before. Could I carry your well, bike home? Have. Shame about your bike. Guys play rough around here. Yeah, no. Ooh. You're pretty good. You almost beat me. Ooh. That was the idea. So, uh, how about a little victory party? I got a dribble. At least dinner. Well, um, I have to work the early shift tomorrow. And I don't even know you. So, okay. Yeah, does that mean dinner? I was thinking you might buy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you won all my prize money. I'll think it over. <laughs> oh, gee, that could have got better. Well, I didn't want it anyway. I'm not used to seeing them walk away from you. Usually they run well, screaming. You lose one, you lose another. Good-looking girl, though, isn't she? But does your ninja discipline make you immune to such things? There are certain yearnings one does not want to overcome. Besides, I took a chair can wheel in the whipper once. Come on, boss. Oh, is there going to be a boat race? Hmm. It's a secret meeting of all those people who want this show canceled. Don't grab a leaflet, please! Come Fist Tuesday with Sylvester Tuesday. Stallone. Grab a leaflet, please! Union meeting tomorrow. Don't forget. Oh, uh, it's a Clifford Odette play. No, a Tom oh. Odette play. Oh. Huh? Huh? Hey. Still at it, Hank Gary. I don't quit, Harold. Ozzie Davis? Yeah. Hey, Pippi Longstock. Another meeting? You bet. Tomorrow afternoon. And we're counting on you, Annie. We just need a few more signatures. When are you gonna let me take you dancing, Jerry? When Welcome Back Cotter is canceled. <laughs> you sign this petition, we'll talk about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Max. I know she rejected you, but we've got to try again. Well, this is it. What? The clear water cannery. Sure is dirty. The nerve center of the city, such as it is. Hey, don't you ever say please! You know, if I hadn't lost that race, we wouldn't be broke. Max? So I could figure I could pick up a couple of days' work here and put us back on schedule. Max. Don't we know that box? Bring it down. Hmm. That does it, Flintstone! Uh -oh. Right on my head, that's it. I think they may just be too dumb to organize a union. Who killed my sister? <laughs> Sorry, it's my first day. <laughs> Let's see. Run this in the claw machine at the carnival. That'll work. The right tool for the right job, Lee. Stanley. <laughs> Oh, oh, excellent master dipstick. It's fifty thousand dollars worth of merchandise, Lee. Listen, thanks a lot for your help. I appreciate it. Oh, forget it. What may issue this equipment they're using? Mm -hmm. In the depression? <laughs> That's great. We can joke about it now that his hips are cracked. It's not in their interests. Oh, don't move me up! Hey, it's Chico Marx. Oh. Hey, there's Lucy. Ah, Ricky, I got toe man. Ah. Everybody works here. Does the president work here? Dinner tonight. Okay. Um, why don't you meet me at the seaside shanty body? What are these tongue twisters? Do you make a fun of me? Or do you think you can find it? <laughs> I'll see you later. Wilford Brimley, safe cracker. Did they tell you what happened out there? Mm -hmm. You nearly got Joe Henderson killed. You! Rotting equipment. Now, Carrie! Yeah, now's right. Now we're gonna do something. I'm the Joe walrus. Joe shouldn't be out there hauling uh, think... boxes. Yeah. He's too old. There are plenty of other jobs he can do. Not that one. Look, his chin is acting. around here before someone takes an interest. When we get a union... I've told you. You'd better drop that union talk. It's just gonna get you more trouble than you want. Like it did my brother. No, oh, sorry, cannery. my heart blew up again. Brother being done in by the cannery. Throw no. up, Carrie. You brother Dad? just up. Uh oh. It's split. Not a guy. No more. No less. 
<laughs> What'd you expect? The time you get working on the line here? Oh, I remember when you were working on the line, so don't play that with me. You're not that smart, but I am. And that worries cool. you, didn't it? I know something's going on around here. And when I find out what it is, I bet it's going to lead me right back here to you. She's got a lander sister quality. Mm -hmm. Don't even think about it. Guess she won't get her Christmas hand. We're not putting up with this. This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Ralph, I told you before I want that girl fired. You think I don't want her out of my hair? You listen to me, Jan Webster. You got a couple of things to learn about running this cannery. <clears throat> Since your dad ain't around to tell you, I will. We fired <laughs> Carrie Brown. And you won't get anybody in this town to work here. Nobody. They love that girl. I'm telling you the next time she causes trouble. The very next time. Mm -hmm. Bet I could eat that guy. Yep, I know it. Positive. All right, Let's no go. tell, no tell. Mm. Good um, looking, too. You're lucky shaving his one hair. <laughs> you sure took care of that accent down by the water there, didn't you? I think he cut you? through his hot. vocal cords or something. Just flip that little gadget and bam, the whole thing goes into the drink. Sure Boy, that Gideon already, writes though. a good ah. novel. Hmm. I'm the floor of That's an adult bad. movie theater. That's what I was saying. Mm. An old guy like that shouldn't have to work that hard labor. What, at least snap a cyanide capsule in his mouth? The strength of centuries, right? So, Zay, what time is it? Joe, uh, where's some of your clothes? I'm out of here soon. I am so fine. <laughs> What's the matter? The bed too comfortable for you? Mm -hmm. You all right? Dear God, don't uh -oh. do this. <laughs> hey, he sounds like a recessa Annie. Looks like a recessa. Whatever happened to... Baby Jane. It's time to get up. What happened to you? I thought you had a heart attack. I was still. You stop breathing. You have to breathe. The heartbeat, like everything else, can be controlled. Hmm. I just slowed it down. Slowed it down? You stopped it. Go all the way next time. Only in appearance. <laughs> the same technique that allows a Zulu warrior to chase a running gazelle for 50 miles on a pogo stick and still have the strength for the kill. Swell. I believe you can do it, okay? Just don't do it again. You scared the hell out of me. That's okay. Uh, we go. go. Well, I see you're ready to this go. This one stings. I think I am. Oh. Stop in the car, Well, since today's movie features Timothy Van Patten's rock and custom van, so predominantly in the movie, we thought it'd be fun for the robots to get some pens and pencils and make their versions of their favorite 70s machines, okay? So, this one's Gypsy. You want to tell everybody about it? Let's do it, Gypsy. Hey, Joe, looks like a lunchbox you used to have. Okay, you want to show the inside, too? And on the inside are 150 Richard Basehart ventriloquist dummies stacked like cordwood. Ooh, shades of Jamie gum. Jeepers. Okay, well, this one looks like yours. Tom, you want to tell about it? Mine's next. Well, the exterior of my van would be based on the work of fantasy illustrator Frank Frazetta, custom painted at Fantastic Studios in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, and insured for over $1,200. Then the interior, show them the interior. It's really cool. It'd be painted just like the Sistine Chapel inside, only it'd be real dirty, you know. Plus, it'd have a water bed and a fireplace slash bar and an in-dash lotion dispenser. And if I dented it up, I'd spend six weeks in the shop class or at Harv Speed Shop. That's what we used to call it when I was there. And we'd just sand it and put Bondo on it. And I wouldn't go to any of the classes. And at lunch, Clem and I would get in a, get in the van and leave campus, go downtown and have a beer at the Shire. Yeah, it would be really cool. <laughs> okay, and this next one's... Uh Crows? Uh, well, my van would have an ergonomically designed desk and chair, plus a shelf for all my reference material, and my computer, and a good, reliable reading lamp, and I'd pack an extra pair of glasses and some sensible shoes, and a cooler full of ice-cold Coke, Diet Coke, and ice-cold mineral water. Uh -huh. uh, and what about the uh, exterior there? Uh, I'd have a Ed, Big Daddy, Don Roth, do a mural of me with my eyes popping out, pulling my tongue dragging, and big old Ooh. Nile and a giant stick shift, putting it in the six on the side of my machine would read like it was written in blood. The van died. Yeah, woo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. We've got oh. commercials. Oh. So I found myself in another it's bar. It's Ed Big Daddy but Ross Crow. Oh. Learned my lesson. My name was don't worry about leaving this bar through a window. That is one good-looking union organizer, eh? Hey, 
Sandy, I don't want you serving Carrie. Why not? Because I said so. I don't want you serving. Chad, what's the problem? Well, your job. Do what I told you. Okay. Evening, everybody. Norm! But you didn't drink. I don't break up dates, either. Unless she gets to be too much. It's brave talk for a man whose heart almost stopped. I didn't stop. It slowed down. Hey, look on the wall. It's Milton Berle's netted slingshot briefs. <laughs> I'm here. Is this your card? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, Max, a long day. I hear you. You're a wry wit. Aren't these people phony? You guys passing through? You're talking to me? What does it look like? Well, you do have that funny eye. You and the hotshot kid over there, now that he's lost the race, I guess you'd be leaving town. What's it to you? Drives the plot. Well, this is a tight community. We take care of our town. I don't think the lady wants you to take care of her. That's why the lady is a tramp. You got a hearing problem? My hearing is excellent. Because I have the Whisper 2000. Move it or lose it. I haven't heard that since grade school. You just be sure Loverboy is on his way out of town. I love that band. Yeah. I'll deliver the message. <laughs> you do that. Can I have a quarter? You got a light? Yeah, my butt in your fit. Oh, well, that's not right. Flip on! They had it turned up too high. What is that? A cigarette lighter or a flamethrower? It's a cigarette lighter and a flamethrower. Good to be seeing you. Yeah, right, and all the old familiar places. Uh, let's order. Is this still on you? You bet. See some menus, please. Sure. Can we, can we have some more lighting over here, too? Excuse me. You didn't get the lady a menu. I can't serve her. What do you mean you can't serve? She's Please, off the menu. Don't start any trouble. Well, how about if I do? Ooh. I just decided dinner's on me tonight. Say. I'm really hungry. Mm -hmm. Come from a long line of big eaters. Mm -hmm. no. Uh, you like seafood? You oh. bet. Halibut? Yes. Yeah. Me too. Seafood. Two halibuts. No, I'm really hungry. Two baked potatoes. Wow. Sour cream and chives? Only on one. Yeah, What's Tim, go, man. Order, then, uh, buddy. Beers. Rave on. Thirsty. And, um... Finish it off, I'll have a couple of apple pies with ice cream on the top. Yeah. And a pot of coffee. That should just about do me. And uh, two hard boiled eggs. Make that three hard boiled you. eggs. Oh, now you can't serve me either. Look, Carrie, it's not me. Uh oh, it's problem. Dave Lennox. Oh, it looks like Annie. Trying to order dinner for the lady here. <laughs> nah. Maybe you had to order someplace else. I won't be needing all of this. Huh? We have busboards for that. We're famous for our chops. Yeah, give me a bread basket. Yeah? Well, how's your punch? <laughs> Tim, this is for the seafood lover in you. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> what a loser. I gotta break myself for this habit. <laughs> That's our match. <laughs> Ooh, this is just like Hooper. Yeah, or uh, Kenny Rogers in Six Pack. Oh, or E.T. Oh, wait. Hey, I'm on the phone to the coast here. Okay, half pepperoni, half mushroom. Go get her. Hi, you come here often? Uh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. oh, it must have hit a springboard. <laughs> uh, Grandpa Ninja yeah. saves the day. Ah, uh, what is he, Obi frickin' Juan Kenobi? Uh -oh. My brother worked at the cannery for four years. My brother lived in Florida. He a lot of trouble. And then he just disappeared. Well, see, that's not in character at all. <clears throat> Gerbil not check. Not someone who, <laughs> who cared enough to raise me alone all those years. My parents were killed in an accident. That's nice. My brother was just that close to putting a union in that cannery. Then he became the president of Poland. Uh -huh. I know that this must sound real crazy to y'all. But I eat light bulbs. You don't know what a hole that Chad Webster has on this town. You're saying Webster killed your brother? Emmanuel yeah, Lewis killed her brother? Take a left right here. Did you go to the police? Yeah, but just, there's just no proof. Hmm. Just a lot of things that don't add up to anything else. Oh, trigonometry, of course. I filed a missing persons report. Then I filed my nails. That. How many others? Four. They'd all been working at the cannery for years. All friends of my brothers. All troublemakers. And they're all here tonight on Devil's Day. Gone. Greener pastures. 
Uh, what'd you say? I was thinking about I my tongue. I know that they didn't just leave. You know you're boring when you're boring it. of Aunt Patton. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. Oh, you want to pop in a but tape? But I'm gonna prove it. This is the house is on the left. Just keep saying to yourself, it's only a movie. Last house on the left. Oh, just, uh, just park in the middle of the street and uh, leave the lights on. No problem. We deliver union organizers overnight. I'm free! So there's nothing we can do to help? No, there's nothing you can do. But thank you. Good night. Right. Tim, you're an idiot. That's some lady, huh? No, oh, that's my wife. Too bad we can't help her. Listen, pal. Do you think I'm walking away from her? Uh oh Webster, the cannery, or this town? You're, you're absolutely right. Let's get out of here. Guess you figured that out already, huh? We've been told to get out of town. By who? Try a guess. Webster? Good guess. No, Webster? We're not leaving. Nobody's running me out of town. <laughs> We're not leaving. Figure something out. That's what I was afraid of. Boom! Boom! Good morning, how are you? Hi. Nice, Carol. Thank you for like flying Northwest. Day. Enjoy your stay in Fargo. Man, how's that baby? Haven't had it yet. Annie, what's going on here? Nobody's talking to Susan me. Susan Sarandon. Hmm. Boss says you're trouble, carrying. No one wants to be caught speaking to you. What, are they going to sing Matchmaker now? <laughs> I'm really like sorry. It. But you're going to the meeting this afternoon. Oh, it's you're like going to that meeting. Not with us. Hi, Frodo. Hi, Axel. Hi, Divine. It's really good today. Mm -hmm. mm. No meat. What's weird is that mm. this is a Chrysler plant. Oh, I don't know what all this meat is doing. Hey, Huey Lewis. And a whole pie. Uh, uh, one, you mm. I don't need to tell you what happened last night, do I? Carrie Brown is more trouble than her brother, and I can't afford to waste any more time on her. The lights are on, but Fatty's not home. Curious about this town. I know she's a problem, but I think... Don't start thinking, Mr. Mm. Carter. I wouldn't worry about that. I'm telling you, there's something weird about this old man she's been talking to. He makes me nervous. And the kid is a troublemaker. But if Carrie Brown isn't around, then there's no trail for him to follow. Is this a limerick? And he just drift on to the next town. Like the wall of China. You can't start someone. We're not start anything, Carter. Cop. We're just finishing what has to be done. Let me guess. There's nothing for you to think about. Well, uh, what about lunch? You're going to hang around for that pizza? Let's make sure you're available tonight. He asked me, I'll wear that strapless head asner. He's going to blow! Look out! Grinsburg, Wisconsin. Workers chafing under the spiked heel of capitalism. I want the seafood plate. <laughs> My wheels. Let me spin them. Hmm? There's got to be some way to help you. Maxie's people won't even talk to me. They say I'm trouble. Maxie Priest? There was supposed to be a meeting this afternoon, but I'll be sitting alone. Oh, yeah? What kind of meeting? A union meeting. Oh, they're going to have gonna cookies? There's going to be any meeting or any union. Get out of my cannery. So, you're canning her. Ooh, How ironic. <laughs> you want to take a vote on that, Webster? Oh, uh, Max, this is a cannery. <laughs> He's got a lot of people working here. I say they outvote you 100 Look to for one. the Something union fight. label. Come on, everybody. Come, you are by. Come on, Pete Seeger. Come on, Weavers, join in. Take it down Come on, Woody. <laughs> Can't stop people from meeting and talking. I told you to get out. Throw me out. Hmm. Our talk doesn't scare anyone. Old Black Eyes is meeting. back. You should attend. It's your future, too. My hero. Mine, too. <laughs> Not knowing that none of what I said this afternoon is oh, new to anyone. Oh, she's an Alpha Omega. We hate them. Goodness, most of y'all have been working here much longer More than I times. have. Your mothers and your fathers worked here. My, Domino's for Biscom, everyone. <laughs> but now we have to make a change. To make a life for us. Now I've got a petition here for the union. And I need 40 more signatures. So let's see a show of hands. I lost my hand in a fish chopper. Hmm. <laughs> Studs charcoal not working. All this? Hmm? Hey, Gary? Well, Charlie. Um, <clears throat> I have heard the stories of the I, thuggy cult. I can't afford to give up one day's pay, let alone Paycheck. None of us can. Howard Johnson's right. Oh, yes. oh, 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 oh. You know, Charlie, I'm not sure I 
know where my family's at, Carrie. At the trailer you park at the edge of town. Until Bill gets his health back. Delta Burke? I tried applying for a job at your cannery today. Couldn't get in. I have no so marketable skills. I'm not surprised, though. Working conditions there are so great. Anybody up but stand nice him? How much? $300? Yeah, he's doing stand-up. He's working the crowd. <laughs> Looking forward to your children going to college? Because it's not going to be easy on the salary you're making. But when the cost of living increases hmm? coming every year, that'll make things a whole lot easier. I don't know why Carrie's bothering to rock the boat for you people. You're doing just he's fine. He's speaking in tongues. <laughs> you get paid what they want to give you. You work the hours they tell you. You clock in and punch out right on time. Their time. Hey, time is truly a subjective phenomenon, Tim. Carrie's waiting for a show of hands. She isn't going to get one. Should we have a silent phone? Big brother isn't watching you. He's got you right in his hip pocket. <laughs> well, I don't have a problem with if that. you ask me, you're all getting exactly what you deserve. We didn't ask. Now everyone take out your hymnal. I'll sign. You're fired. I'll sign. You're fired. You're fired. Reggie. You're fired too. We feel confident, secure. Attica, 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 Attica. Hmm, Tahitian treat. Mm -hmm. Hope the meeting didn't start yet. Boy, it's cool. <coughs> Ooh, gassy. Oh, hi. What's up, gang? You took the last Tahitian treat, old man. Jimmy Carl Black. No, it's Sean Phillips. And Tim Robbins. Spin to church. Your young friend missed his vocation. Should have been an evangelist. Too much like acting. He does <laughs> have the way with words. They're not in the right order. Him any good. Or you. You're leaving, Clearwater. You're very nosy, right kitty now. cat. What did we do to nosy people? You're not going to get out of this one, pal. Thank you, crotch rocketed friend. Don't forget there's a helmet off! Okay, we'll just follow you to the party then. How long since you've been on one of these? Long time. Feels good. Must be the new seat covers. They hit Mr. Bobo! Oh, no! I don't know if you're gonna enjoy the experience all that much. Lean into it. Sunday at Great Lakes Dragway, Union Group, Wisconsin! Mighty Mites with Action Traction. <laughs> Lean into it. A garden weasel! Ooh, where did he have that? Hi, Kiba. Huzzah! Ooh. He's up the ramp! What ramp? Air blowing in the wind. My cola. Oh, I saw that in the maple floor before. Oh. Well, why don't they just turn right? No, I'll harm you. Hey, hey, I just wanted to tell you you got a tail light out. Gee. He's got a licorice whip. Mm. yippee yi yay yay cowboy tay What'd you learn that one? Motorcycle school. You're cute. That'll happen. Cool. Yeah. Where's Carrie? At a union meeting. We better get to her tonight. It's pop luck. We gotta bring a dish. <laughs> Lee? Oh, Lee! Lee. Here, boy. Oh, oh couldn't couldn't you stay in the van? Safety. We were right. Carrie? Carrie? Look, it's Matt. a medieval house. They varnished my house. You right? What's happened? <laughs> oh my God. I felt like this when I came home. They disconnected my cable and they hooked up my stereo wrong. They've torn my place apart. Nice flat. <clears throat> my apartment, I mean. It's gonna be okay. We won't let them get you. 
Hey, look, Ignatz was here. Huh. Stop. Oh, Bill Keen ransacked the apartment. Oh. Or well, Billy did it. Billy did it. I know they killed my brother. And now they're after me. <clears throat> How about a little sugar for Grandpa? Nobody's gonna harm you. Leave it to us. Oh. Well, that's what do we do now? <clears throat> Big brave girl. <laughs> well, brave anyway. Stir everything up and I can't handle it. They've warned you, okay? Now it's up to us. We're gonna nail Webster for good. You just sit tight. They won't be back. But we will. We won't let the seniors beat up on you anymore, honey. Ooh. Ugh. You kiss better than the union boss. Oh. Oh. Dr. Pepper lip gloss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not getting back in. Then came Bronson, the van years. You go to the police. And tell them what? The Webster tried to run the us over the road. Tried to make us. Hmm? Now, where's the proof? Webster and all those cannery workers will have an alibi for this afternoon. Got to find something on him. If what Carrie says is true, <clears> if they did kill her brother, most people don't cover their tracks as well as they think they do. They should wear long sleeve shirts. Maybe there's something to can. Yeah. When? Tonight. Tonight? Oh, I was going to watch my dad's show. Glaucoma Theater. Ooh. Oh, there. <clears throat> yeah. Looks like the set for Graffiti Bridge. Oh, well, I think it's a Janet Jackson video. Yep, <laughs> uh, Rhythm Nation. <laughs> 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 Uh, Lee, I, I don't think you're window, invisible, you know. Oh, swell. Well, Lee, 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 Lee. Hmm? Wait, he just climbed into the basement. What's going on? Hey! Yeah. Oh, ah, four dollars an hour for this crap. Yeah. Too easy. Uh-oh. You would have to climb into a security guard warehouse. Well, thanks for the help, Lee. I stopped for a Heath bar. Want a bite? Hmm. Let's see. Where are we in the script now, Tim? They're selling fake term papers. Oh. Names, lists of names. Let's see here. Bag of quicklime, three foot gray, red me. marker. Murdered at Old Point. And, uh, the date that he disappeared. Hmm. Old Point. Whatever hmm. that is. It's a beer, isn't it, or something? Claude is involved, too. Right, go on. And decided to protect oh. himself. By hiding his emotions. You know all that website doesn't even know about these files? Let's get him over to the sheriff's office. Hey, hold it steady there, Gyps. Come on. General Timothy Van Patten! Be seated. Now I want you to remember that no babister ever wob a war by dibbing for its comedy. He won it by making the other poor dumb babisturb dip for its comedy. You whack me with your writing crop, Crow. Ah, you love it, you know you do. <laughs> Mr. Webster, Zell at Cannery. We had a break in. Uh, they were dressed as plumbers. Ah, uh, the young kid. The one that's been hanging around here. Van Patten, something or other. Oh, no, not this again. I thought their Jeep blew up. Ah, you guys going to Rob's party? Follow us! Woo! Hey, this looks like the end of Easy Rider, doesn't it? Good. Why don't you get a haircut? Uh oh. Cloud, you've wrecked three vans. Good job. Hey, didn't even go through the window. Huh. I'm the guy with a snake on my face. 
What's this? The end of Master Ninja? Tune in tomorrow, same ninja time, same ninja station. <laughs> Let's dress him funny. Oh, he already is. Hey, Tim's making a dirt angel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Max Keller. I used to be able to walk. Is it curtains for Van Patten? He's dead. You've killed him. Hail, Hail Dorothy. Dorothy. I can no. speak clearly now, my brain is gone. <laughs> Mendoza! Hey, Tim, don't boot on the hood. It'll take the wax off. <laughs> yes, it's the Sporty Cutlass Supreme. <laughs> Wide tracking Pontiac. <laughs> my dad's Get him into the back of the Jeep. Let him go. Yeah, nothing worse than a cornered Van Patten. Mm -hmm. They'll climb you. Pick him up later. Yep. No place in this county he can go that I won't hear about. Yeah, well, what about Carrie's place? Maybe. Well, he'll come up empty. Hmm? The little lady won't be there. Big hand for the little lady. First, put the body in the car. Sorry, boss, my first caper. Take him to the old oh. point. Meet us there. After you pick up the girl. Before you put your coats on the top peg. Wait a minute. You said we'd have dinner first. <laughs> Bad enough one man is dead. You can't hurt that girl. They'll find, They'll find nothing. There are no bodies. Two transients moved on. You're starting now. to look delicious, boss. Headstrong girl just couldn't take it any longer. She left town. No. I won't be part of this. Carter, you've been a part of it since the day you decided that comfortable job of yours was more important than telling the police Shoot. what happened to Carrie's brother. Um, so I was thinking about pork chops. You understand? Uh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Yes. Jeep. The wizard's not in! Come on, Max, come on. Come on, Max. Four minute mile. Could strain a course of bacon. The, 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 the Could the strain a course of bacon? No pain. Outside <laughs> yourself. What? But fighting gold? Like you said. My peach is dipped in sauna? What, what is he saying? The mediocrity of the long distance runner. <laughs> oh no, it's Jim Fix! <gasps> oh, sorry, bad joke. You know, his brother was the bionic. Oh, boy. yeah, that was cool. Mm -hmm. Carrie! Turn the chip for you, UNICEF! Oh. oh, you're Max? sweaty. Max? A sweaty Van Patten. Gotta get out of here. Ooh. Right now. Webster's done his way over here with his pals. We're going to the police. Where's... Uh, uh, dead. Huh? Come on! Wait, 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 I need my lip gloss! Uh-oh. Uh, you know how to whistle, don't you? Oh, well, they pick up and deliver. Hmm. Get in the car! Gee, thanks, there's some guys following us and it'd really be great if... Oh, wait. Chick jeans. Okay, uh, everybody in? Okay. The Stephen King Book Club. <laughs> How do you like our little film? Something seems a little fishy. <laughs> Kill him. Are those Skylon Air Max? I thought so. Charles Moffat feared not. Puma? The last poor Yurik I knew him. Are you plant your ninjas in the late Monday fall? Fifth. I don't know. Three, three and a half feet. Throw them in. Oh, they're doing blood simple. Webster, you... Thesaurus! Hey, patience, pal. Your moment's coming. And okay. hers. Mm. Yeah, like I did for my brother. Mm-hmm. And the other. Two more, just like this one, unmarked. There's a lot of them. <laughs> hey, <laughs> careful with that! They don't use it anymore. No caretaker, no maintenance. No tears and no hearts breaking, no remorse. In. Now I got it, Webster. Really bothering me. It was you behind the dictionary capers. It's not just that you run the cannery the way you want. No flack, no union. No. No tears. And... That's not enough to kill people for. There's another reason. What would that be? You get off on this. It's a thrill, a kick. Mm. Kick. the power you have. Life <laughs> and death. Yeah. It's a tough act to top. What I feel and what I think isn't going to matter to you much longer, Keller. Any more than it does for your late hey, friend. Hey, more dirt in the hole, less on my shoes. Or you. 
Carter. Mm -hmm. Me? Didn't I tell you, Carter? After 35 years of keeping your nose clean and looking the other way, this is what you get. I'm not dead yet! Dirt Man in color. I hope he doesn't soil his ninja robes. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh. Ooh, have you learned the plot? <laughs> Stop it. Enjoy. Stop it. I feel so dirty. How does this be by the tree looking cute? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's on the cardboard boxes. No, no, that's the Rosetta Stone. Don't it's oh, rock, paper, scissor. Uh, I was just reaching for the Snickers bar in the glove box, boss. Come here, buddy ball. That's for Dom Deloise. He's got trouble in spades. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget to have your ninja spade. <laughs> hey, he's little John. Digging this theme? Stop him! Stop him! him. Oh, right the keister. Kunta Kinte. Hit him, it's dark! No one'll know. Ah, oh, rats. I know. Low and heartbeat to barely a pulse. Close your door to the senses like it did in the motel room. No, uh, I was really dead, Tim. I'm the reanimator. Really oh. On the edge of death. It can only be affected once or twice. More than that. It loses its impact. Could prove fatal. Do it again. I dare you. I'm glad you're alive. I prefer it. We are good friends, dear. Epilogue, where you always get to see Lee's gut. Yep, and there it is. You see what I mean? So when does it happen? Oh, about in a week. Listen, I want to thank y'all for proving something that I believed in. You cannot ask. I'm sorry about your brother, Carrie. Well, at least I know for sure now. I needed to. Sob, sob, remorse, remorse. Listen, well. if you still need a job, I can get you one at the union. Hmm. I'll be in the van with Henry. Reading of my and The classy guy. He's an idiot. I don't know how you <laughs> made those people think he was dead. It's a long story. Going back. Oh, no. Listen, about that job. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go, Carrie. No. Oh. Someone we have to find for the master. The master? My friend. It's kind of a nickname. <laughs> I'll be back this way for next year's race. You better be. Because I'll be a legal age then. Hey. Sorry. This shit tastes like salmon. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Why are we in the middle of this? Mm. I'm a stranger in paradise. But there's nothing wrong with my Take car. It. I missed something. Who's that? Grab on the drive. Who's the other guy, dude? Okay. See if you can shake her loose now, Tim. Woo. Next week on Manix. <laughs> hey, look. Butt Court's up at the top of the cliff playing a banjo. <laughs> Matt Houston in color. Those magnificent men and their flying machines there. All right. See that guy down there? Jump on him. We drop you off right by him. No, I oh, won't. Oh, I hate him. Yes, oh. yes, it's going to be okay. When I tell you to drop, you drop. What Here in the go. Sam? Oh. Look, I got her and I'm going to drop her right by you, so be ready. Timothy Van Patten is Sky King. Brought to you by the Bisco. Coming in. Well, she is kind of a blonde bombshell. Oh. It's kind of a stretch. <laughs> Ouch. And in an unrelated incident, a car pulled over today. More later. More better. Enjoy Red Wing shoes. Hmm. I like to watch. Hey, we lost the sound. No, no. It's... Oh, I. Yeah. Hmm. You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. 
Yeah. I knew those brakes were going. I should have had them fixed. There's just no time. I mean, everything's always too fast. My whole life's always been <laughs> I like that. They dropped fast. you. I mean, that last bend back there, I didn't even... I didn't even think I was going to make it. Now slow down. Take a breath. You're going faster than the car. <laughs> okay, well, I always talk too fast, especially when I'm scared half to death. Now, who are you? Max Keller. John McAllister. you Oh, I'm Alicia Clayton, native California, freckles, surfboards, and uh, fast cars. What is this, a dating game? And now we think I'm <laughs> we'll take you home. Oh, well, wait a minute. You saved my life. And what, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to give you for that? Oh, just like a dollar? A dollar. Good. A big dollar. <clears throat> I have an idea. Oh, yes. There's a big garden party this afternoon for family and friends at the European Summit. Will you come? I don't think we'd be on the guest list. Oh, uh, we hate you. No, Europe. my father, Senator Clayton, he's organizing the party. Senator Claghorn? Oh, uh, do me a favor. Don't say anything about the sports car, okay? I mean, he's had to put up with added security, bomb threats, secret service agents. All he needs now is to hear about a reckless driving daughter. Four o'clock. Oh, and uh, black tie, okay? Okay. Okay. Get in. Well, bye. Do. Hey, shoot some of this action my way. Maybe I should have kissed her. Would have been a good move. <laughs> Garden party? We'll take it. Right. You think Rick Nelson will be mm. there? It's possible. Maybe. Reminisce. Eastern thought. Go with flow. Ah, what a cliche. A Japanese guy in a GM car. Xanadu, stately home of Charles Foster Kane. Cost no one can say. Looks like a Paul Clay painting. Yeah. We'll come from the west, out of the sun. You we'll got a come crown from the on. east. Yeah. Senator Clayton won't know what hit him. We'll be ready. Every man knows what he's supposed to do. Hmm? How many people do you want killed? How many up for? No one. We'll take what we came for and get out. Oh, the military's wearing Zubas now. Oh, neat. I like. Not Sybil Danning, but an incredible simulation. I'll say. Mm. Your loyalties must be with the sect. Hmm? Say, Uncle. David McCallum. My loyalties are to myself, you know that. I can remember. Ooh, Don't I remember. Am. Memories are dangerous in the wrong hands. Remember when you used to get good work, beautiful. Dave? <laughs> Castile. Serena, if you want liberation for your people to free them, what makes you think this is the right way? Liberate this, David. If they David. don't heed us, we'll kill them. Yeah, yeah, you'll kill anyone who stands in your way for the cause. That's the burden you carry. I stop believing in causes. Now I just believe I just in effects. A job. For which we pay you a great deal of money. Plus dental and a 401k. I'll get you what you need. Peroxide, lots of it. It might even work if you do exactly as you're told. She's Skeletor's sister. Look at her. Shelly Tor. What memories will hold you back then? We could sell their plasma, they maybe. cooperate. You can kill them. Didn't know Harrison to do it. Ba boom yeah. It was a pretty chic garden party. And I figured the worst thing that could happen to us was eating a bad hors d'oeuvre. <clears throat> or drinking too much champagne, right? Right. Huh. Now when you're with the master. So, more always horse the ovaries? Fun. There you go. David Eisenhower. Hi there. Hey, how's it Hello? going? Hey. Hello there. Hello. Who's winning the Dodger game? Oh. Hi, Annie. Alicia, uh, I need to ask you. you kind of looks like Stevie Nicks. Yeah, I yeah, wouldn't okay. recognize her without a big bottle of wild turkey. <laughs> oh, left at the altar, huh? Uh, <laughs> good crowd, huh? Thank you. I told the senator there'd be a large attendance. We could have our own summit meeting. Move your hand or lose it at the wrist. Ooh. Such a smart mouth with such a lovely lady. Get lost, Palin. Tologist. When are you going to give me a break, huh? Greasy kid stuff. Oily. Even in a tux. How do you do it? Johnny. Be good. Did you double the security? Everything's uh, taken care of. Everybody's Senator. got two guns, Nothing sir. Nothing to worry about. I like worrying, Senator. <laughs> you were me. And an ulcer. Darling, you look stunning. Well, thank you, Daddy. I was just telling her the same thing. Yeah, but in a sleazy, sexist way. No, it just didn't sound the same. Excuse me. She's digging me big time. I know it. 
feel like I'm back at my high school prom. I hope your date was better looking than me. <laughs> that's a Look sure bet. <laughs> the longest legs and the greatest eyes. But that's it. How about you? Didn't you have a girl in your arm the last time you were decked out like this? BJ Day. Enough said. Party on the base in Honolulu. We'd never met before. Saw her across a crowded room, huh? Something like that. Who was she? Someone very special. She threw on a dashiki and blew my but ninja today, mind. It's your turn. I don't think this is my kind of scene here. Well, she's going to be too much for you. Why don't you let experience take over? Uh, I think there are laws against that sort of thing. <laughs> she talk you to death. I'll risk it. I need a game plan. On the tenth sentence. Kiss her. Oh, sure. Take advice from longtime bachelor Lee Van Cleef. Thanks. Uh, take that kick me sign off your butt. That's yeah, your paper moon, buddy. Now you're ready. Thanks. Hey, Alicia. I used to be Bond. James Bond. Now I'm in movies. Bad movies. Lord Bond. Hmm. Not bad. Looks like there's a guy as dull as I am. Hmm. Isn't everyone in here so funny? Yeah, no, thank you. Could you get me some preachers? Yes, sir. Thank you. Preachers? John Peter McAllister. Well, well. That's my no. name, too. Is that still the name you're using? It's as good as any. I wouldn't have thought a Southern California garden party was quite your style. And what style would that be? The Friend? austerity, the dedication, the discipline of a ninja master. Uh, I'm also an Amway salesman. Go on. Of a killer. <coughs> Never get rid of that thought, will you, Mallory? Why should I? Killer, Your pupils killer, are killer. Going back to the glory of the old killer. days. Political assassination. Paid killers. Killer. A young man named Okasa. Oh, he is no longer my pupil. Who's playing not. him now? Now you've taught him how to kill. Killer. He doesn't need you anymore. Kill. Okasa's a good or cop. Does he? Killer. I left that way of life behind me. What are you doing here? Networking. Killer. You're invited, pal. Who's the geek? A new pupil. The name's Max Keller. The last we killer? heard, you were killed in Japan. News Killer. of my death is somewhat exaggerated. Ooh, Lee Van Cleef and Mark Angeles, Twain tonight. The eve of the European summit. Killer, killer, killer. Just passing through. Like I said, pal, we were invited to a party. That's all. You were the worst James Bond. Enjoy it. Killer. I'll take one of those. One of those. He looks good. A little of that. Creepers, what a family ninja. This is new. Get back in the food line. The man in the crowd with the multicolored mirrors and his hobnail boots. Yes. Very interesting, but cuckoo. Hi. Hey, look. Brian Jones is in there, floor. Mm -hmm. I was just going to the buffet! Move, Miss Clayton. You're going with us. Man, that looks like the Get Brady the house, doesn't it? Come on, Senator. Let's go. Yeah, come on, Senator. You'll know which bars are open late. <laughs> It's an armed, it's progressive right, dinner. Right. These are great. Oh, damn, guess I'm not the only ninja here. Whoa, bad luck. Two on a star. Good. Good night, everyone. You were enjoyed. There's more rice in the fridge if you need it. Bye. Boy, you know, Malcolm Forbes really know how to throw a party. Let me tell you. Lighten up. He was just going to give you a to go cup. Come on. Mm. Hey, Larry Bird's dead. Mm. Sandwiches? The finger dancer. Are you okay? The bullet grazed my hand. Oh, he shot a wacky wall walker on the side of that helicopter. Oh, how about it? 
Okay, okay, I'm sorry, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Wow, he's driving an Austin Martin. No, it's a, it's a Martin and Lewis, or a John mm -hmm. Aston and Martin mm -hmm. Lewis. Tetris for Game Boy. Yes, yes, yes. Getting shot at the garden party was bad enough. Then we got arrested. Max, you gotta stop punishing yourself. There was nothing you could do. Now Tim can't get arrested. He took it. <laughs> Right out of my hands. Some ninja pupil. The first moment of real danger and he falls like a house of cards. I was there too. All I could do was... I can't believe they actually think we had something to do with that raid. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Go with him. Edward James almost. Come almost. On. Your father, your brother Vince, and your Aunt Joyce are here to bail you out. Get out of here. McLeod. All right, McAllister. Alistair? I want some answers. Mine? Or the ones you want to hear? I can't believe you're still doing that in your act. And here's your watch. Nice hat, Rod. Michael, this is Kit. I need to be on the set of St. Elsewhere by four. Money! Yes, yes, yes. 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 I want to know how they got through, and I want to know quick. Is it okay that we're I dressed all the, the same? Saw a person you can write that in your report. How many hostages were taken? Ten, all the wives and relatives of the European delegate, and Senator Clayton. Uh, Bob, where were you? I mean, where was I? Look, we were surprised. Now, we tried the best we could. All my men tried. Surprise None of us party. could get a clean shot out of it. Did we overdress for this Any briefing? from the kidnappers? There's nothing yet, Senator. You blanketed the area? Hmm. In about four minutes. Bob. I didn't want Ted Turner to hear this, but he wants to colorize the second hundred years. What do you think? You no, know, in a couple of years, this whole thing's going to be replaced by a death tap. I don't think it was Carlos, and it's not Kelgen. But it started it with a K. In and out, buried personnel. You all know what I mean? Clearances, and nobody killed. Hmm. Now, who does that sound like? Gordon Liddy? Personal, specifically. Castile? Yep. He entered Miami two days ago. We lost him in the Rockies. How dangerous is he? Oh, I'd put him in the top three. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? No but clue. He's, Jeez. he's long since given up caring. Well, what do you think he wants? It's not what he wants. It's what they want. It's like a tennis match. Who? That's what Whoever I'm asking. Third, third base. base. But he has had a particular association with one group of terrorists over the years. They call themselves freedom fighters. Hmm. Contras? Led by a girl named Serena. Oh, it's the groovy ghoulies. That was a long time ago. Ah, with Castile. Well, Old so Morthys die hard. You know Castile. Oh, yeah, I know him. Oh, I love his soap. I tried to nail him for years. Hey. So is Mallory. They've crossed each other's paths a number of times. Yes, and both of them still alive. So far. Goodness. Mallory was at the garden party. Everyone was there. Yoko brought a walrus. He was there. magic in the yeah. air. So where the hell is he now? He's driving around in his fabulous new Aston Martin. Could these have come from ancient astronauts? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, well, even a secret agent has to go wring out a sock. <sighs> Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> For lease? Oh, boy, I've got to call my realtor. Oh. Oh, he must be president of the Audubon Society. Mm. And look. Oh, just He's driving on the Audubon. <laughs> Careful. Those are sharp. <laughs> ah, my ankle, Wendy, Wendy. <sighs> Xanadu, stately home of... Oh, forget it. We'd like to thank you for coming to today's open house. You'll be dying here. This is the dying room. <laughs> uh, this will be your room. Hmm? Fits right in. Okay, let's go. Are you okay? Yes. Bars. And punch. That's what I'm hungry for. Doesn't make any difference. We're too high anyway. I know. Is there another way out of here? Wait a minute. Hmm. It's Brian Ferry taking pictures. Yes, yes, work with me. Come on, throw your gutters back, wet your roof. Yes. She's reading Little Drummer Girl. Oh. Look. Where? Oh. Oh, I've seen this show. It's the master with the James Bond. You meet again, Mr. Mallory. Uh, you know this man? Yeah. 
I know him. Brian Do you Ferry. want him killed? Natch! And if it becomes necessary, time to make contact. Thanks. Uh, you'll get these back at the end of your trip. Thank you. Forbes here. Microsoft Service, could you hold for an hour? Right, thank you. Wait, wait. The... Control. What do they want? Political prisoners released, jails in mm -hmm. Lebanon, mm -hmm. France, mm -hmm. Irish terrorists mm -hmm. in England, subversive elements in Berlin, about 200. Mm -hmm. And a bucket of chicken. Castile. Mm -hmm. All right, Castile, we've opened negotiations. <laughs> but you have to understand. No, you understand. Ooh. Finalize negotiations by six in the morning or we execute the hostages. Now mm. you do that, Castile. Then you're marked for life. There'll be nowhere in the world you can hide. You can always hide in the shadows. Oh, you got me on that. <sighs> you walked right into it. I will contact you at precisely 0550. That's it, huh? Forbes, continue negotiations with the government. So let them think we're going through with it. Again? What is our plan? Oh, shut up, Mr. Hold Bond. Hold on, helicopter assault at dawn. <laughs> That's crazy. You know Castile. He's killed hostages before. Stockholm, Frankfurt. We don't bargain with terrorists. Munich, 72, taught us that. Uh, we had noticed that. That was at the blade. Olympics. Everyone will be dead. Let's roll. Uh, we see it going. Mm. There oh, is one other way. Hey, photo Come insert. Yeah. Oh. One or two men over that wall and inside before we hit them. That's a sheer 70-foot wall. No human being could climb that through, unless he were a ninja. No, 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 no. It's all wrong. Timothy Van Patten is not the type for a gerbil. It's a hamster. Well, whatever. He shouldn't be going around with a Crescidid or any small Slavic origin rodent. It doesn't fit the profile. Ah, you're loony. Well, for your information, Boris, there are plenty of perfect examples of detectives and other crime-fighting types whose pets were perfectly suited to them. Beretta's cockatoo, Sonny Crockett had a crocodile, Columbo's basset hound, BJ had the bear. Turner had hooch. Right, good. McLeod had his horse. They all make sense. Oh, come on. Who went and made you the expert? Well, uh... Well, actually, I did. I wrote a subroutine into his database, allowing him to pair fictional detectives <laughs> with pets. Oh, it? gee, what a useful bit of programming. Hey. Well, it's something to do. I mean, uh, well, why don't you uh, do it for us with today's mumbling hero, well, you know? Well, I'd suggest a mandrill for Timothy. A mandrill? What yeah. about Magnum P.I.? Oh, let's see, something tropical. A sea turtle. How about Jim Rockford? Praying mantis. T.J. Hooker? Oh, he'd have a creature with the head of Adrian's men and the body of a spider monkey. Uh, the Avengers. For Emma Peel, a newt for John Steed, let's see, a spinning cobra or a duck. Toma? Cockatoo, same as Beretta. Oh. Next? Uh, Bad Masterson. Penguin. All of your 19th century Western detectives would have penguins, but there may be a couple puffins thrown in, so be sure to ask me about each one. Okay. What about, uh, Starsky and Hutch? Paul Michael Glazer of Vicuna, David Soul, a bat. Uh, Matlock. He raises mealworms for Money. The same. Mm. Sea cow. Miss Marple. Weasel. Mod squad. Puppy. Lizard. Bird. Uh, Charles Darwin. Oh, Char no, he wasn't what? a detective. Well, no. so he tracked stuff down, didn't he? It's okay, Joel, it's okay. Crow, Professor Darwin would have a howler monkey that would eventually evolve into his wisecracking partner, Blake. Oh, now you're just showing off. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Charles Darwin wasn't fictional. Oh, just sh hush, you two. We got commercials. Oh, let's go. What kind of pet would Space Ghost oh, that's have? a monkey. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a trick question. You don't release Michael oh, oh, Keller oh. until tomorrow. I thought he was your friend. He is. But he'd insist on going with us, and I'm not getting him killed. God, he will all be me. over in the morning. You got it. You got me. Smug Brothers right there. Couple of dorks. <laughs> oh, he brought his sample case. Yep. Well, no room for underwear in there. Max. Yeah, all this stuff. This turns out to be an ending. I wish we'd have been together. Look at all the things he can do with his spirograph. Ooh. Come along, my little friend. Even you, Longfellow. You know, his act is kind of prop heavy. Yeah. Uh, you forgot your six finger. Man alive. Hmm? Hmm? The gerbil! Oh, no. Wait, I thought he turned that light off. Suckies. Oh no, it's Queen Latifah again. I think you just walk through the lobby like that. I don't know. Music by Zomfear. Gotcha, you little dickens. <laughs> yeah. hey. yeah. Ooh. It is very well nice. choreographed. Very yes. Nice. Very well. Everybody's going out for it. Ooh. Oh, keep the ball in there. Oh, 
I don't think Lee can take much more of this. Uh -huh. you, know, you know, I don't think that's Lee. I know. <laughs> okay. You betrayed us, master. I get the bit by the window. Not without a weapon. Well, they do this every episode for crying out loud. Ah, that always happens. It's got a sting. This guy's got a knife in his didgeridoo. <laughs> Wilkinson sword. I bet Holiday Inn has a policy on this kind of stuff. Oh, I see you're using the Danish counter. I thought it was wise considering the terrain. Garden Weasel! Bruce Lee press on nails. Ooh, lucky punch. Oh, oh man, oh. and designing women's on in half an hour! Damn. Huh. Oh, I've heard about this kind of behavior. Jump back! Erase myself! Oh, weak, oh. weak, weak. I'm starting to not believe this uh -huh. and just uh, Where has my little dog gone? Do you know? They had to release me. No evidence. Now I have to get to the master. I'm innocent. He soldered me, me in me. here. How? I know why he did it. But he's not getting away with it. With what? So, cow flop? <laughs> Do you think they'll find us? Nice calf tan. Of course, mm. Really? Yes, they will. Have a cow flop. Believe me. Let hostage house cater your next caper. Please, it's shake and bake, and we helped. Come on, it's original recipe. Eat. I'm missing all my children. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Sing it. Get a bucket Look at of that. chicken. <laughs> Come on, finger mm. lick. Boy, this chicken's just not going over. Oh, hell, I'm not shy. Can I have your dessert, too? Hmm? No. It's the Colonel! <gasps> John Palin. I can't. Sit down. Now, why didn't you eat my chicken? John. Marsha. You're one of them. One of them. Poor little rich girl. The Gloria Vanderbilt story. It's a beautiful and defiant now. Well, well she's still defiant. <laughs> Hmm. I could kill you right now. You're gonna kill us anyway, and don't you think we all know it? Zing. No one's coming for you, Alicia. There, I've said it, and I'm proud. <laughs> Ken Barry. What? Huh. Boy, rotten senior trip, eh, honey? Max. It hurts! Oh. It's gonna need me. But thanks for the sentiment. Did you ever say food of the gods, buddy? This is it. Well, you're in it now, okay, up to your it. neck. I don't like trusting you. I don't think you have much choice. Zing them. You climb as I do, or you'll fall. Hi, Kiba. Looks like he's climbing a silo. Found out about the fortress in the federal building. And the digger and the dealer and the dog as well. And getting in there were two different things. Hey, sounds like Chicago's in the back of the van. Hey, crack a window! Great night for flying. Ah, uh, flying on the ground is wrong. You get up that rope, cigar! Oh, the great master ninja needs a spotter. Uh oh. Reaction. Oh, cripes, I wet him. Look out down there. Stay together, cheeks. Stay, stay together, cheeks. Ooh. Where does he get this stuff from? Reaction. Brother. 
Uh, <clears throat> off delay, sort of. <laughs> uh, there. Watch now as they go up the roof, a celebrity will stick his head out. <laughs> yeah. That man. Prime it. Where did he get this thing? Was he Hudson Hawk? First pull start. Starts every time. Yeah. Lean back, Tim. Old fatty up there can do it. I guess I can. It looks like he's climbing a rosary, doesn't it? I get a weird feeling when I shimmy up this rope. Oh. <laughs> Ator, no! Quiet, Tim. Get yourself over the Sea of Japan, Max. Augering in. Bullets. Did he bring his hamster on the ultralight? Always timed himself. Oh. Follow me. Keep your balance. I know how to balance. Duh, I'm sure. And keep your voice down. What? Oh, voice down. Shh, right. Yeah. Come on, hurry. I gotta get this tux back to Genghis. Come on. What's the plan? Plan? Oh, oh. Split up. Be back at this wall in 20 minutes. You got it. Two of them, huh? Shoot them down. Sending in an Shoot army. to kill. Too late, Mr. Mallory. This time, you're too late. Oh, wait. We did something again. Wow, well, we landed in a cistern. Ooh. We now join Timothy Van Patten already in progress. Do, 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 do. Careful, Tim. That could hurt. Do, 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 do. Man, Mallory. Old enemy. I'll take care of him. Yeah, it's army class. Okay, thanks, Forbes. Uh, thanks for the information. I'll inform Senator Clayton. Roger. Thanks for your order. We're going to launch a full-scale helicopter assault at 6 o'clock. Hmm? Could they be mistaken? They have no reason to lie to me. <laughs> the helicopters are standing at the foot of the mountain waiting to go. Now, we haven't got any time unless you intend to stand and fight. That's something else that Oof. came up a long time ago. I know when to fight. Our backs against the wall. We can be out of here in under an hour. Get everything ready. Debbie and what about the hostages? We'll execute them just before we leave. Oh, you always put everything off till the last minute. Your cause can be served, Serena. Next time they'll listen. Oh, uh, Dave Shaggy wants his beard back. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone can stand to Next sober time. up, take a shave and a shower. Hi, Chad. How's it going, Doris? You're yeah, fine. Mm, not bad. I am. Oh, 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 Ooh, Lee's the butt of that joke. <laughs> hey, well, a shot in the trade. dark. Your government cares nothing for your lives. They're the ones executing you. I wouldn't pay my taxes yeah. either. And our poor little rich girl was getting the first oh, thing no. I mean, Her dress is taking a beating, isn't it? No one follows us. I know what you said about my skull, and I... Well, well I'm just leaving. Gee, they seem nice. Everything's going to be all right. Hey, look, hey, uh... Furnace filter. It's not funny. Furnace filter. Freeze! Tag! Not it! Don't even think about it. Senator. Yeah. You, you said something about a backup. It's a long shot, yep. Senator. It's a tape Very backup. Long. You're leaning on it. The assault horse is ready. You heard from Mallory? No. Uh, no word. No. Yeah. No. What about the Callister? They could have got separated. Monitoring both frequencies, nothing. Nothing, huh? Gee, too bad. Send them in. Sorry. Lose the tux, will you? It's starting to smell like Fritos. Jeez. Oh, I got a headache this big. Oh, my aching neck. Second hundred years. What are you what are you looking at? We've seen it. It's a nice piece of real estate. We know. <laughs> we put him in here. He was wearing some kind of black ninja outfit. Real dopey looking. He's gone. Huh? Hmm. Go back! And this time it's personal! Oh, right on my Ooh. keys! Ooh. Ow! Oh, my mask. Time tunnel in color. Take the average white bands up there. Sit down, Alicia. So I guess I'll sit here then, okay? Guy. Oh, I'm gonna get 
let's split ads. Hey. Hey. Keep your hair off of her. A stunt double all of a sudden. Oh, really slide on that linoleum. Oof. Lisa, you okay? Oh, yes. It's your breath. Oh. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. The end. Are you all right? I'm okay. I don't even want to know how you got here. Oh. Sea of Japan. Glided in. Now that is. It's what happened oh. to Mallory. Little tater tay we can steal. Tater tots? That's what I overheard. Mm. Should buy us enough time. Oh, if there's any help, there's an arsenal in the garage. And a it's not going them. anywhere. So I put this back. Hey, an RF cable. Thanks, Tim. There's a guard on the door at the top of the stairs. Is that where the rest of the hostages are? Yeah. Don't feed them chicken. Get your truck ready. Make sure the gates are open. I need your help. what? Scream. Pull my finger. What? Scream. 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 Good. That's my cue. How are you? Yeah. Give and go. I saved the help. Any time. Listen, pal. Go Pull my finger. Me. Yeah. Every day. I must be rubbing off on you. You I said pull my finger. Ah, uh, he's not gonna do it, come on. And suddenly she's a ninja groupie. Don't hang around with them. This is a ninja cookie. Neat. Stand straight like a soldier. Oh, I'm like blind. <laughs> Whoa, somebody got a crow loose in here? Shut up! Everybody, don't be afraid. Get up. Come on, you're on your way. Come on. You're on your way. Oh yeah, my parents will be home in ten minutes. Sure hope worried. somebody grabbed that chicken. Mm -hmm. Move it, come on. come on. Mom said never trust a guy in satin. You can! Start the executions. Without me. Did you... Start the helicopters. Mr. Mallory and I have a few quiet words to say together. In private. <sighs> say. Don't. No, don't move. I want to remember you just as you are right now. Getting rattled? little uncharacteristic emotion i'm hammered you've killed a lot of my friends so gotten away i don't kill innocent people hmm. what about your control sending in his assault force you think yeah. he cares about the lives of the hostages all he cares about is stopping terrorism it's all terrorism different names different Ooh, causes deep. save the world for what what do you care about mallory david's got a little pain to work through yeah, i think so oh, i see you're being professional Oh. Well, you have a little time left to reflect on the cost of your professionalism. Hmm? A Bex killer, Cripes. Where'd the pop by that? What happened to him? He took a bullet in the flipper, I guess so. <laughs> this place is really swell. Uh oh. Oh, wrong door. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Blondes have more guns. Ooh. My Tom McCann's! Now the Willy. You're gonna be last. Oh, <laughs> oh, now he's into that. Yeah. So, why doesn't the gas affect him? He can't breathe through his nose. <laughs> what goes up? Oops. That was me. Sorry. Oops. I'd say the Marines had just landed. Too late to help you, Mallory. <laughs> Silly thing. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Oh, you. You'll never know. Just how much. Jim Carter. Good move. Well, thanks. That was nice work. If you can get it. Next, loading the hostages onto a truck. Now, let's get out of here. Ryder rents Ninja Transports. Yes, I love these shots. Slow it down more, please. Now it looks like they're climbing down a rosary. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. It's the knots that. Ouch. Oh, rope burns. Oh. Ah. Now, let's go home, friend. 
Oh, be careful, I'm wealthy. I don't think Hugh Hall recommends that. The migrant socialites bound for Malibu. Uh, will you guys be my friend? Oh, good. Whoa there, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he's a ninja, all right. Look at the cat-like moves. So you came back for me? You to come back for me? I would uh, now. you big lug, come here. Ah. Well, his tuck sure held up well, huh? Didn't expect to see you again. I had the same feeling about you last night. I should have known better. With a girl like you. What can I do? Take a few less chances. I'll stop when you stop. What did you stop? <laughs> Oh, guess I'm asking him to fly Air America. They weren't early. One Adam 12, stop the movie. Please. And they'll take you on a tour of the stars' homes. Oh, Matt, you're not leaving, are you? Oh, sorry, I mean, I'm in love, love with the union I'm organizer. Everything will be back to normal again. I mean, that it's like I never figure out what's normal again. But listen, we could spend time together. I mean, without bullets flying around and helicopters landing in my backyard. Alicia? Shut up. Is that 10 sentences yet? Mm. Oh, you mm. taste just like Monty Markham. You taste like go. Ninja. Mm. Don't you be a stranger, okay? I'll remember that. This guy's breaking hearts all over the map. Bye. Bye, Max. Bye. <sighs> all right, first base, Ooh. huh? Yeah. You were right. When in doubt, you kiss him. Yeah, I'm hot. I'm bad. I had Pat. No, no, well, we will as soon as Okasa stopped. Well, at least he wasn't around this time. Count our blessings, right? Geez, you need the universal translator to understand that guy. You no, know, before we go on searching for your daughter, we're gonna swing by Vegas for a little R and R. And I'm gonna show you a good time for once. Vegas? I thought we just had a good time. Don't, Don't. <laughs> oh, Master Ninja, will you ever learn? <laughs> well, let's get going. Uh, I'm gonna stay. I like sing that the theme one. song here. He's a man with a plan. Gotta go where the hamster goes. You're a ninja. Uh, Joel, 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 mm. uh, carry me. Okay. What are you sick He's of? He's got thighs like a hamster. Whoo! Ah, get down. Jump back. Kiss myself. You know, today's experiment was packed with more Timothy Van Patten scenes than ever, and yet, I feel so empty. Yeah, usually when I watch two back-to-back -back episodes of a failed mid-80s action show repackaged and presented as a feature-length movie, I expect more. Well, you gotta admit, the experiments have been pretty rugged lately, but oh. uh, let's let bygones be bygones and has-beens be has-beens, <laughs> and have some fun with this neat... Uh, Lee Van Cleef foam core dress up doll. You yeah, see, wow, look cool. at Lee's already dressed for action in his Joe Namath netted slingshot briefs. Oh there. my god, Joel, for heaven's sake, put some clothes on him. You know, see? with that gut, wouldn't a Charles Durning underoos be far more appropriate? <laughs> well, no, check it out. See what happens when you put the ninja costume on? How, uh, what a slimming effect it has on the car. Wow, oh, that. Isn't that neat? Hey, could you put a pirate costume on him? What? Lee Van Cleef didn't wear a pirate outfit in this or any other film. I know, it's just a fantasy I've always had. Anyway, it's uh, time to read a letter. Uh, oh, let's put that hey. up on Still Store there, Cam. Uh, this one comes from Sue Schroeder of Rochester, New York. And Hi, Sue. Sue writes, I can certainly sympathize with being forced to watch bad movies because I am a film studies grad student. Most oh. of the movies that I have to watch, though, are 10 hours long and have subtitles. Ooh, Actually, when I was still finger. taking classes, I didn't even get to see movies. All I did was read Freud and dumb French people like, uh, what's that word? Derrida. Derrida. Foucault! <coughs> I hated it. Well, I almost have my degree, so it will all be over soon. Huh. P.S. I wanted to draw a picture for you all, but I have to get back to writing my thesis. Also, will you three say what your favorite movies of all time are? That's a good mm. one. Oh, well, for think? me it's easy. Big Foss and Little Halsey. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kafka's The Castle. I thought it was Zardoz. I'd have to say uh, Colossus, The Forbin Project. Huh. Uh, what do you think, sirs? Oh, The Forbin Project, one of my favorite films. The, the thing I like most Doctor, about Doctor, can I just say something? Uh, can I just get serious? I have something very important, which... I really feel has to be said. Well, Frank, you do look serious. Um, by all means, the floor is yours. 
Thank you, Doctor. You know, one thing in today's experiment caused great pain to yours truly, TV's Frank. It was the appearance of Monty Markham in the second episode. I mean, the later half of today's movie. Monty Markham was the star of my favorite television series when I was just a young man living in my mother's basement. I'm talking, of course, of The Second Hundred Years, which, as you all remember, was the crazy, wild show about him being trapped in suspended animation for a hundred years, coming back, trying to fit into contemporary society. <laughs> I liked it. The Second Hundred Years was truly vintage Markham, and I want everyone out there right now to write to ABC and say, please, please, Mr. ABC executive, bring back the second hundred years starring Monty Markham. Please do it for the laughter, for the love, for the boys. Well, Frank, that was very touching. I'm sure the second hundred year issue was on everyone's mind. Shall I crush your skull or do you want to do it? Oh, I think you ought to. Very well. Well, in the immortal words of Monty Markham, here come to judge. Ah, uh, that was pig meat Markham. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>